All right, we're gonna try to fire the MR2 up. The starter was giving us issues uh, the other night, but I actually took the starter off, ran it over to the parts store, and they tested it there. I was trying to get it warranted, and it somehow passed their test. It was working fine. Regardless, I'm getting it replaced, but they didn't have one in stock, so we just brought the old one back, and we tested it on the floor, and now it wants to cooperate. I don't know, things freaking weird, but we put it back in there, and it sounds like it wants to engage, so we're gonna try to see if she will fire up for us. But the starter might just decide to say no more yeah. at any second. I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> Bruh. There she goes. <laughs> Bruh. Let me hit it with a hammer. Give see her a little if, tappy tap. See if the old hammer will do the trick. I'm gonna leave the fuel pump off for now. Oh, dude, it's definitely like barking down here. Is it? Yeah, hit it again. Oh, bro. Oh, my like the eight millimeters yeah. on it? Yeah, go hit the start again. Uh, hold on one sec. And hit it. Oh yeah, she's sparking. Junk, sell it. Dang it, dude. Damn auto parts people. I thought we were gonna start the MR2 tonight. What's up guys, hope you're all having a great day. Right now I'm on my way to go pick up the 240. Just got the word that it is done and ready to go. The steering is all done on the car, which is awesome. That was the biggest hurdle we had to overcome on the 240 build, but thankfully, quality chassis shop was able to squeeze us in and get that knocked out for us. So right now I'm on my way to go pick her up and then we will get this thing on the way back home and I'm excited to get this car fully up and operational. Oh shoot, there she is. What's up, man? What's going on, Kyle? This thing ready to steer? It looks like it. I mean, we'll find out once you start sliding it around, but everything turned Dang. out real nice. Check that out. That looks freaking crazy. Shot me a couple pictures. I didn't see it all painted up yet, though. Yeah, paint Got the bar painted. Nice. Got you some grade A hardware. Dude, that came out sweet. See how they did like the tie rod stuff. Oh yeah. And right there, just reused the factory spindles. Dang. Hey. Right, show me where, where full locks at. Okay, yeah, we got we got a good amount of throw right there. Hey, what's up, Tito? Oh yeah, that's plenty to play with for now. So yeah, yeah, we don't have the super gnarly angle on the car yet, but we know. Yeah, we know we can cut this, get it, get us a stock set of spindles, and then we can cut the steering arm and we got to move it over instead of just shorten it. So you guys had modified spindles already. So this is the most throw we can get out of these right now. And the rack doesn't have any more angle to, to keep pulling. So as soon as we can get some different um, knuckles and change the steering arm setup, we'll get even more for a lot of this one. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be a challenge putting the whole thing together, so I'm just happy that it steers, and honestly, that's way better than I even expected. Good. Like, that's Good. plenty enough to drive it around, do what we need to do, slide it around, like yeah, you said. Yeah, that's what I told you. I, I didn't want you to expect a giant angle on it, but it, it's pretty good. It turned out pretty no, good. Oh yeah, that came out we sweet. We gotta relocate the oil filter because obviously that's not gonna fit right there, but I have a another piece to replace that guy, which is gonna clean up that a lot, so that won't be an issue at all. Yeah, but I think you could slide it all you want and do all the street shenanigans you want, and I think she's gonna be perfect for you. Now oh, you got yeah. a real jack point too. You don't need to keep jacking it. Yeah. The core support, we can jack Just it. Just go right there. Yep, into five eighths chrome Ollie and heck yeah. Hey, you guys did an awesome job. That came out so sweet. Alright guys, ever since we got the new shop, we have been in some serious need of new tools and we finally got ourselves a sponsorship lined up. We just got some stuff delivered to us today. Go ahead and roll it on out. Special effects, baby! Oh, check it out guys. We reached out to the guys over at Tecton Tools and they hooked us up with a brand new toolbox along with all the tools to go in it. Let's go ahead and get this stuff opened up.
All right, we just got everything unboxed and I don't even know what to say, guys. This is freaking sweet. We got all these sockets right here and every possible size we would need. We got six point, 12 point, metric standard, all of it, from quarter inch up to half inch. Uh, we got a whole bunch of pliers right here with a little organizer. We got all the ratchets we could need. It is also raining right now, so sorry about the, the rain hitting the roof. We got some ratcheting wrenches over here and you know, just an assortment of everything. They gave us some rubber mallets, some hammers. We got C-clamp vice grips. We got Allen wrenches, some C-clamps, and we'll check this out. This is one of my favorites. All 3 8 drive. Freaking torque Allen head galore right here. All the specialty bits. We got completely hooked up from Tecton, so definitely just wanna give them a huge thanks for giving us all this stuff cooking the shop up. We're gonna be putting this stuff to use right away. We have even more than you can see here. We have some stuff that we need to get out of the bag still in here. We got some of these uh, the smaller ratcheting wrenches as well. We got pry bars. We have a huge assortment of screwdrivers. Got a whole bunch of nut drivers, everything. We gotta get all these out of the bags and organized as well. And the toolbox itself is freaking beautiful. Honestly, really good quality. And what do you say the doors hold like 400 something pounds? Yeah, hop them up there. Oh, they're strong. Nice, baby. Get all the way out. And also, another thing, I like how deep they are. Yeah. But even all the way out. Yep. We're good. They sent us a, a torque wrench back here. I was going to say one other thing that I like about their drawers. I'm not positive. I haven't really looked into it yet. But it looks like you can get little metal dividers that kind of slot into these. So for like organization, that looks pretty neat too. So maybe look into something like that later on. When you guys can take a look for yourself, this stuff is like really good quality, awesome tools, and you can get it at a very good price. So if you guys want to go give some love to Tecton, that would be really appreciated. They definitely helped us out for sure. And can't wait to get all this stuff put to use, get it in there tucked away. The shop's really starting to come together. There's still a lot we need in here, but that was one of the biggest things we needed to get figured out was some tools. So we got the tools in the lift, so now we can really start getting some stuff knocked out. And yeah, once again, just huge thanks to Tecton. Really looking forward to this uh, opportunity. So thank you guys. All right, attempt number three. We have a brand new starter in there. Got the old one swapped out. So we are ready to <laughs> hopefully fire this thing up finally. Fingers crossed, baby. Let's there you go. go. <laughs> See if this thing works. Back up and going. Look at, so. them, look at them spooly boys, still going. I know, look at them. The fresh units, dude. Hopefully they put in some work for us. Well, the time has come. We are officially getting rid of the pink leopard valve cover on the MR2. It's like a, it's like a snake skin, I don't know what you call it, but you guys have uh, obviously seen the valve cover on the MR2. I've been rolling with it for a long time. The plan was to keep it on there temporarily, but it kind of became permanent until now. So as you guys saw, we got that valve cover with the modified end to fit a mechanical fuel pump. And we are not using the mechanical fuel pump right now, but we are getting ready to modify our valve cover to have a catch can. We didn't want to do all the work welding the bungs onto the pink valve cover for the catch can when we are just going to switch that out pretty soon anyway. So we got the valve cover with the modifications for the mechanical pump and we have modified this one yep. to take a catch can. And what we are going to do for now is just make a block off plate until we need the mechanical pump. So we don't have to, you know, redo this later on, but you wanna go ahead and show what you did under there. Wyatt knocked this yep. out, did a freaking beautiful job. We put them right there on top and just right. wanna show the reason for that. Yeah, so we went up top, we got plenty of room under the hood on this car, um, unlike a normal Honda, would not have room to put them up here. But we went up here because underneath the factory valve cover, it's got a really nice baffle system uh, with this factory baffle in here. So this is gonna go back on and then it's gonna keep all of the oil from being able to run into the catch can. So it'll just be a nice oil separator kind of baffle deal. 
um, and being able to use all the stock, stock stuff to make it really function really well. Yeah, so when he started on this, that was already riveted into place right there from factory. He drilled out all the rivets and stuff, removed this plate right here, and as you can see, the factory PCV valve vents right there, and the air has to travel through all these channels right here, and then eventually make its way to this little pocket right there, and that is the hardest place for the oil to get to in the valve cover. This is like the best little spot for the baffle thing, so that's why we put the bungs right there, and then he also plugged off the factory uh, bung that came off the side right here because we will no longer need that guy. Yep, just kind of make it cleaner, look better. Um, a really easy way to imagine this is you can see how dirty this is over here, and you can see that the oil and the oil vapor would come in here. You can see it kind of dries it all out, and by the time it gets over here, it's nice and clean. So easy visual way to kind of see how that flows through there. So should work really good. Get this guy knocked out, and then we'll start on the actual can in the car and just help the engine breathe a little bit better. And we can upgrade from the Gatorade bottle. Yep, no more Gatorade bottle. So <laughs> a little less sketchy, a little bit nicer setup. So it's coming along good. Oh yeah. About done with it and uh, we can start on the actual can part. So as you guys just saw, we got the 240 back, got the steering done, and that is all good to go there. Uh, we wanna try to get this thing ready for Cletus and Cars and we have like a week and a half to get everything done. And as you can see, it still needs a lot more things before it is ready to run and drive. Um, but real quick, I did want to show what we got in this box right here. This is the new revised intake adapter plate from P2R, because if you guys remember that last one, when I started it up, the whole manifold like sucked down and that plate kind of fell apart on us. But they sent us this new revised one, and this is the one that uh, is now available if you guys ever want to get the same Holly intake plenum on your J-Series. And uh, let's take a look at how they did the new one here. So hopefully this one won't do that when we fire it up. But I mean, the welded one has been working good. But this is their new version right here. Oh yeah. Oh, there that's fancy is. now. All one piece now. Yeah, that's real nice. Yeah. Yeah, that shouldn't be going anywhere. So there's the, uh, the new one to swap out with that guy, even though, like I said, the welded one's been working fine. I just would rather run the correct one because we have a whole bunch of gasket maker yeah. on there holding that guy together. Yeah, it looks really good that they did it in the one piece now. So yeah, no, that'll that. be no issues now. Yeah, that looks like a really nice piece. That. Yeah, from what I can tell, this is all one piece now. Oh yeah. Before it was two separate and that's where it came apart. We are good to go on that guy. I made a little list. We have a lot of stuff to uh, get ordered and get on the way for this thing to make the turbo kit, you know, radiator, boost pipes, like everything. So we're gonna do our best to try to get it ready. There's no guarantee it will be, but that is the goal. All right, we are gonna fire up the MR2 once again, let it fully warm up this time. We have everything put back together except for this charge pipe right here. And we have that out because we're still in the process of making a catch can to go down in that corner. So we don't want the charge pipe in the way, but everything else is uh, plugged in, ready to go. We got water in there so we can actually let it fully warm up. And there is no jump box on it. It is back on its own battery power. And we started it once earlier and it sounded pretty healthy, so we're gonna let her fully warm up. Hell yeah. yeah. Check that out. Jump box is way over there. No jump box needed. Hell yeah guys, MR2 is back up and running. The original plan was to bring this thing to the track tomorrow, but unfortunately we are not going to be able to do that because we are getting hit with our first hurricane. Yay, Florida. <laughs> it Florida is, boys. Yep, it's raining outside right now, and I guess sometime <laughs> tomorrow we're supposed to get hit with like a category one or two hurricane. We're not in like the super center zone of it, but yeah, that's just uh, one less thing to get checked off the list for uh, being an official Florida man is go through a hurricane. So that's happening right now. <laughs> and we are still building cars. Welcome to Florida, been here a week. <laughs> First hurricane. <laughs> we were talking to Jason, he's all, bro, this area has never been hit with anything more than like a tropical storm. He's like, 2020 is just out to get everybody. Guess we'll see what happens, man. <laughs> the almighty spoolie boy. 
is coming our way tonight. <laughs> yeah. This is like a GT55 on kill, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Just want to give another huge shout out to Tecton Tools for sponsoring the shop with a brand new toolbox fully loaded with tools. And we actually already started using some of the uh, ratcheting wrenches and stuff and the quality is awesome definitely be sure to go check them out give them a follow on their social media pages as well freaking awesome guys mr2 is back up and going unfortunately we might not get to race it until possibly this upcoming cletus and cars i was really hoping we could get some testing done before then but our first passes on the car might just have to wait till next weekend and that is cletus and cars we are going to be there so if you guys are thinking about coming be sure to make it down it's going to be a blast and as you guys saw we got the steering all knocked out on the S14, so we are ready to start getting this thing together. And once we fully button up the MR2, like the catch can and stuff like that, we're gonna go straight into the S14. I literally just sent it on Amazon. Got a whole bunch of parts on the way to hopefully finish this thing up. And Brent and Jamie will be here tomorrow as well. And they're gonna be staying with us for a while. So we've got a lot of stuff coming up, guys. So super pumped, hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you later.